Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video we will be talking about Winter 25 admin features from the interview point of view. Okay, I have already created a video on what is expected when they ask you a question related to release notes. Okay, and it will be, I mean, it, this is a chance for you to make a very good impression in front of interviewer if you are able to effectively tell about the release notes, if you get the question. You can also highlight it from your side, but it will be better if the question comes on this and then you uh, you are able to tell it. Okay, so this is not only important from the interview point of view, but also for your own day-to-day -day work point of view as well. Similar to this admin, we will also be launching one for Apex, one for LWC and one for Flows. So this is the first one of the series and let's begin with the first update. In this winter 25, Salesforce is launching a dynamic highlighted panel. So on a flexi page, if you go to the fields, you will be able to see a dynamic highlighted panel. This dynamic highlighted panel is similar to uh, the highlighted panel which we get via the compact layout. But you can configure it directly here in a flexi page, which will be a huge advantage. You need not to manage multiple uh, flexi pages and you need not to be worried about what is there versus what is there in your flexi page. You can directly do it right here and you can even have the actions as well. Currently, you can have 12 fields in this flexi page. So this is going to be a major release uh, uh, update for the administrators. This winter 25 moving on to the next one we have on the lightning reports you have new option when we create a formula formulas are always very tricky especially when you create reports you have data from multiple objects depending on your report type creating formula is always a tricky task and as we know more many times end users also create reports Salesforce has now enabled Salesforce reports to have the generative Einstein generative AI by which you can create the formulas. So on the step one, if you see there is an option to create formula, but then uh, after that you can see this magical um, icon there. That is basically nothing but the Einstein generative AI. When you click on it, you will be able to have on this step two, you can see an Einstein tab for it where you just explain or describe your formula and Salesforce will be able to create it for you. You can validate it, you can check it or you can even make the modifications on it. So this is also going to be a very important feature for administrator and so because they can enable the end users to create such kind of formulas. Moving on to the next one. You can now directly make inline edits in the user's list view. Okay, currently, let's say you get a requirement where you have to change the role of the user or the profile of the user. You will have to go to the user's detail page and then click on edit and then change it. So if you have to do it for multiple users, you'll have to do it multiple times. That takes considerable amount of time. Now they have enabled user's list view to have inline editing enabled so that you can do it directly from the list view. For this, you have to enable the enhanced user uh, setting or management from the user management setting. You can go there is one option to enable and then once you do that, this enhanced user list view will be available for you. So this is also a very good uh, short feature but will help administrators a lot, especially those who are doing a lot of user management on their orgs. Moving on to the next one, we have improved user accessibility. So now, uh, currently when we go to the user detail page, you will be able to see all the user related detail, but with the window 25, you will get a user access summary section where you will be able to see a lot of information related to the kind of access this user has. Okay. If you see the screenshot, which I have attached, here we have option for user permission, object permission, field permission, custom permission. So you can even see what kind of user permission this user has, what kind of object permissions this user has, what kind of field permission this user has, right? So all these things are directly visible from the uh, user detail page. 
earlier like currently we need to go to either profile or if there is any permission set we need to go to that permission set and then need to check what kind of permission he has but now you can directly see it here in the user page user detail page which is a very good and very useful feature for administrator in my opinion moving on to the next one we have on on the same feature not only we can see what kind of permission this this user has we can also see which profile or which permission set is granting that um, uh, that access so let's say if user has an api enabled permission we can actually check on clicking on this uh, access granted by and then we will be able to get to know okay if users pro users profile is providing that permission or if there is a permission set which is providing that permission so again this will help us uh, to debug a lot of record sharing and visibility related object access related issues when we get down uh, in, the, in the salesforce so again a very useful feature they have done a lot of things on the user management this time moving on to the next one we can see uh, from the object manager going to a particular object we can see object access as well so what are the different uh, uh, different uh, uh, profiles or other uh, permission sets have this object access so we can see let's say there is a permission set sales team members permission set we can see if this permission set has access to this object or not and then if it has access what kind of access it has recreate edit delete we all modify all so this will also help us uh, identifying that if there is any object which we want to check like who all can access that object we can directly go to that object and from the object access we will be able to see that so again this is going to help make our life easier next one is in the restriction rules and scoping rule currently from one pick list value we can only select one value we cannot have multiple values we cannot select multi multiple values from a single pick list but now with this window 25 we will be able to select multiple values from a single pick list so let's say if on a case there is a reason field and there are five values in it we can select multiple values earlier only one value was possible so this will obviously enable us to make better this restriction and scoping rule and will enable us to um, use these features in a better manner so again see in my opinion restriction rules and scoping rules are still in progress kind of thing they are uh, they are not fully um, designed to be used right now in my opinion i do not use them as much as i should have been but uh, again this is a feature so Video, which will improve these restriction rule and scoping rule so that's about it there is the next one okay on the permission set group there is a um, public group membership section has been added and by which you will be able to do a lot of things okay you can see all the public group members you can add multiple users at a time you can add them either via users via permission uh, public group roles in a better manner so we all were able to do these things but the process was was bit tiring and you know it needed a lot of steps to do now everything is available in a single screen and you will feel that now the the process to do those things are smoother along with that now you can also provide descriptions on queues and public group now so earlier when you create a new queue or public group there was no option to provide a description which i still don't know why it was not there earlier but now salesforce has given that feature that you can provide description it is always good to provide descriptions to the metadata themes you create so that somebody who is referring will be able to understand why you have created such kind of thing so again a very useful thing uh, late but very good all right these were the things there are a couple of additional things which are worth noting uh, we have uh, salesforce has also launched conditional formatting so on a on a uh, flexi page uh, for a particular field you can have conditional formatting like you want to have something in the red white red yellow green color or some symbols or something 
I tried this, but I was not able to do that thing in the in the pre-release org. So once I think it is available, I will create a whole video on it because this is going to be a standout feature. I'll definitely try it. And for custom report type, they have provided a new layout editor. So on the report type, we have to uh, fetch fields from multiple objects and uh, process remains same. It's just that the UI have been improved so that you will be able to do a lot of things in a single screen. So this new, new layout editor will help you include things, uh, object fields from lookup objects in, a, in an efficient manner. Uh, list views they have worked a lot on the list views for a standard and custom object uh, earlier they were rendered via the aura components now they are getting rendered via lwc in winter 25 which will definitely improve the performance it will have faster rendering and there are some changes as well happen in the back end uh, in the in the way buttons and everything was placed but uh, not much in terms of how it will display but more in terms of the back end and the performance related thing so these are the things uh, in the winter 25 for admin these are not the only thing there are multiple others but i have only uh, included the major things which you can you will be able to explain in your interview and if you explain efficiently it will definitely help you so i hope you will get an idea about but i highly recommend you to go register for the pre-release or and try this on your own for the most advantage you want to get and i will upload other videos on the other features as well related to apex related to flows and lwc so i will see you in the next video thank you everyone